Hello. Welcome back. In the previous video, we delved into vitamin C as a renowned super vitamin. Vitamin C, found in fruits and vegetables, has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, immune boosting, and anti-cancer properties. Similarly, iodine is a super mineral with antioxidant and anti-cancer effects but receives less attention than vitamin C or D. Iodine deficiency is on the rise. Have you experienced sudden weight gain, especially after 50 or menopause, along with body swelling, fatigue, dry skin, thinning hair, and brain fog? These symptoms, including hypothermia, goiter, and neck swelling, may indicate iodine deficiency. Symptoms of iodine deficiency include goiter, fatigue, weight gain, mental fog, breast or ovarian disease, swollen thyroid or nodules, throat pain, thickened neck or jaw, dry skin, cold extremities, swelling, prostate disease in men, and joint or muscle pain. Iodine is essential for the hormone production of thyroid hormones, thyroxine T4 and thyroidothyronine T3. Thyroid hormones regulate bodily functions, enhance gland function thyroid, breast, ovaries, prostate, and speed up chemical reactions. The effects of the super mineral iodine include serving as a raw material and catalyst for thyroid hormone production, as well as having antimicrobial, antioxidant, anti-cancer, and metabolism boosting properties. Key functions are listed as below. Firstly, iodine increases metabolism, boosts energy production in cells, and combats fatigue, while raising body temperature. In hypothyroidism, when the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough thyroid hormone, leading to fatigue, weight gain, cold intolerance, dry skin, and hair loss from decreased metabolic activity. Iodine, like selenium, is a potent antioxidant, effectively reducing fatigue and edema by alkalizing interstitial tissues, enhancing oxygen solubility tenfold, and aiding in recovery. Iodine is a potent sterilizer effective against various microorganisms, valuable for water purification. It targets bacteria, viruses, fungi, and malaria without resistance, disrupting their metabolism and causing death by denaturing proteins on their cell membranes. Iodine, once a potent disinfectant, is widely used as povidone iodine, an antiseptic for pre- and post-surgery skin disinfection. Iodine fights cancer by neutralizing acidity, triggering cancer cell death, and creating an oxygen-rich environment to inhibit tumor growth. Studies indicate that iodine can reduce precancerous conditions like breast and ovarian cysts, thyroid nodules, and enhances chemotherapy effectiveness while decreasing side effects, boosting survival rates. A 2021 study explored molecular iodine and cyclophosphamide's effects on chemoresistant neuroblastoma cells, finding that they reduced cancer cell growth and improved mitochondrial metabolism. All iodine and metronomic CFF treatment in my slowed tumor growth, decreased proliferation, activated apoptosis signals, and prevented CFF side effects. Another 2019 study investigated oral iodine supplementation in breast cancer patients, showing reduced side effects and tumor chemo resistance. Iodine-treated tumors showed less invasion, increased apoptosis, estrogen receptor expression, and immune cell infiltration, indicating an anti-tumor immune response. Besides, deficiency of iodine in pregnant women can cause cretinism, leading to enlarged thyroid, stunted mental retardation, and hearing impairment in newborns. Although iodine levels and thyroid hormones show within normal ranges, why do symptoms suggest iodine deficiency? An important observation to note. Case 1. A woman in her mid-50s experienced fatigue, coldness, swelling, numbness in hands and feet, and sudden weight gain. Tests revealed high levels of heavy metals, normal levels of urinary iodine, thyroid hormone, and nodules in the thyroid ultrasound with uterine fibroids and breast issues detected in gynecological examination. Case 2 A woman in her late 50s, gained weight, had muscle pain, brain fog, and insomnia, taking medication for hypertension, diabetes, and thyroid issues. Tests showed thyroid enlargement and cysts, elevated heavy metal levels, normal urinary iodine, thyroid hormones, adrenal hormones, and thyroid nodules. From the two cases, 
symptoms of iodine deficiency persisted despite normal iodine and thyroid hormone levels, likely due to environmental toxins. The five halogen elements fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatine are commonly found in various household products. Fluoride in toothpaste promotes dental health, while chlorine disinfects tap water and acts as a bleach ingredient. Bromine is used in flame retardants and found in many household items like carpets, sofas, chairs, mattresses, furniture, wallpapers, and electronic devices. Interestingly, bromine has been added to flour in non-EU countries since the 1980s for enhanced taste. Iodine assists in excreting halogen elements, like chlorine, fluoride, and bromine yet inadequate levels may prompt the body to absorb these halogens instead. Even with sufficient iodine, excessive environmental toxins such as fluorine, chlorine, and bromine can disrupt iodine's functions, leading to deficiency symptoms. Additionally, iodine is vital for eliminating heavy metals like mercury, lead, and aluminum. An abundance of similar halogens, such as fluorine, chlorine, and bromine, from daily exposure can induce deficiency symptoms by interfering with iodine's effects. Thus, maintaining adequate iodine levels is crucial for effectively excreting heavy metals and halogens to avoid environmental toxin interference. Moreover, environmental toxins like bisphenol A, pesticides, and phthalates, along with other halogens, can also disrupt iodine functions, emphasizing the importance of maintaining sufficient iodine levels to prevent halogen absorption and preserve iodine's functions. What is the recommended daily intake of iodine? The recommended daily iodine intake for adults is 150 micrograms, with an upper limit of 2,400 micrograms. Pregnant women need 220 micrograms, and breastfeeding women require 290 micrograms. Japanese individuals typically consume higher iodine levels 3 to 100 times the recommended amount without adverse effects, with an average intake of 800 micrograms, while Americans typically consume 150 to 300 micrograms. Despite higher intake of iodine, Japanese and Greeks have low thyroid cancer rates, suggesting self-regulation of thyroid function in individuals with normal thyroid function and minimal risk of iodine overdose toxicity. Which foods are rich in iodine? According to the USA News Report article, plant-based foods generally contain lower iodine levels than animal-based foods, making it easier for predominantly vegetarian individuals to become iodine deficient. Those who don't consume iodine-rich, dairy, fish, shellfish, eggs, or iodized salt may have lower iodine intake. Vegetarians should be cautious as plant-based, milk alternatives, like soy and almond milk are poor sources of iodine, potentially leading to deficiencies. Cruciferous vegetables like kale, Brussels sprouts, and collard greens contain goitrogens, which can hinder iodine absorption by the thyroid gland. Instead of eliminating these vegetables, it's advisable to diversify the diet, with various vegetables and iodine-rich foods. Seaweeds, such as kelp, nori, kombu, and wakame, are excellent iodine-rich foods, as are seafood from the sea, owing to seaweed's natural iodine abundance, protecting them from bacteria and UV rays. Adding seaweed to salads, with apple cider vinegar and extra virgin olive oil, not only boosts iodine intake, but also enhances flavor. Additionally, incorporating whole grains grown in iodine-rich soil can help. In summary, symptoms of iodine deficiency include weight gain, fatigue, goiter, mental fog, and various physical ailments. Despite iodine's importance being less recognized compared to vitamin C, it plays a crucial role as a super mineral. If symptoms persist, consulting a doctor for accurate diagnosis and treatment is advised. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay safe.